I am getting braces today. <sighs> okay, so there we are. Oh my god. Wow, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. Oh, It's kind of like catching my gum in this side right now. It definitely feels very weird. I haven't had braces on since middle school. Okay, so today is the day. It is jaw surgery day. <laughs> yeah, I do have elastics. You can probably see them a little bit, just on either side. So they're holding my jaw, I don't know, in place. But one of the biggest struggles I've been having is I'm hungry, but eating and then cleaning my mouth out afterwards is just such a process. And if I make anything that's not liquid, like I have to, I'm gonna make a scrambled egg now, you'll see. <laughs> it's just so tedious and I have to have such small bites. Oh, so it's really difficult to get enough calories in. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm talking pretty well. My swelling is like mostly gone. I still feel really swollen like in my cheeks and I don't have full sensation in like my lips and like this side of my face mainly. In my jaw surgery essentials video, I showed this to you. This is an ice roller. And honestly, this has been so good. I swear it helps with the swelling a lot. So swear by this. <laughs> I am a little bit over two months since I had my double jaw surgery. And I am really, really happy with the results so far. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be telling you about my jaw surgery experience. So if you guys are not new to my channel, if you've been following me for a while, you will know that in November I had double jaw surgery to correct my bite. And yeah, I started filming maybe like three or four weeks after that. My face was so, so swollen. So right now I am five weeks post-op, five weeks, I am five months post-op and I just got my braces off two weeks ago, which was super, super exciting. Yeah, I just wanna tell you guys about the experience because I know that when I was thinking about getting this surgery, I had a lot of questions and I was watching videos on YouTube, trying to hear about other people's experience. And I thought the surgery was going to be pretty full on and don't get me wrong, it absolutely was. And I know this isn't the case for everyone. It wasn't as bad <laughs> as I thought it would be. I would say three months after surgery, well, I'll get to it all in a second, but I would say about three months after surgery, I saw major improvements to my swelling, to my movement, to everything, and I started to feel a bit like a normal person again. And now I'm at five months, and I could not be happier with the results. But anyways, let's start from the beginning. So I knew that I needed this jaw surgery when I was in middle school and I first <laughs> went to the orthodontist. Honestly, I am so happy that my parents took me there when they did because my teeth were such a mess. And jaw aside, like my teeth were all over the place. <laughs> And at the time, I don't remember thinking too much of it, but I think if I got a little bit older, I would have been bullied for it and had a pretty hard time. So I'm really glad that my parents started the process of <laughs> correcting my teeth and my bite at that time. First off, I didn't, my palate was too narrow this way. So I had to get a palate expander, which was pretty much like a bar across the roof of my mouth. And my mom had a little wrench and she would have to crank it every single day. And it would move your jaw out this way, like a millimeter at a time. And my two canine teeth, I'll put a photo up here, but they were like, there was no room for them. They were in front and they were up. <laughs> And so I did that, that moved it outwards, and then the braces helped to move those teeth into place. So that was one thing corrected, but the oral surgeon and the orthodontist said that my bite was misaligned and that I would need surgery to correct that. But the surgery, you had to wait until you were finished growing. So I was supposed to have it when I was 18. 
years went by and I turned 18. I finished high school and I can remember the orthodontist or the oral surgeon telling me that I would need to have braces for two more years, a year before the surgery, a year after the surgery. And I thought to myself, absolutely no way. I am not getting braces again. I didn't really understand, I guess, exactly what needed to be done with my jaw. I knew that I didn't like the way that it looked, like my lower jaw was forward, but I didn't really understand the consequences beyond that. Like I really didn't like my side profile. You cannot find a picture of me anywhere <laughs> taken from the side. I would erase that from existence. But anyways, as the years started to go on, I started to realize just how my jaw alignment was impacting my life in different ways. Like I didn't realize the impact it had when I was eating. So my front teeth, they didn't meet at the tips. Like they're supposed to be like this. Yes, are you okay? <laughs> oh my God. They're supposed to be like this with your front teeth slightly in front of your bottom teeth. Mine were like this and then like didn't touch. So anything I ate that was thin, I couldn't bite through it. And I can remember eating like spaghetti when I was young and being like, I just don't understand how you eat this because like I couldn't bite through the noodles. I would have to like spin it around my fork and then just like eat it at once. Like I couldn't break through it. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why can't I eat this food? And then years later, I realized it was because of my teeth and yeah, so that was like obviously something I could live with, but it was just very inconvenient. And then the other consequence of my misaligned jaw was that my molars clashed more than they should and they were at risk of chipping. Eventually, my cats are going crazy. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> so yeah, then the pandemic happened and I was, I guess, 27. And I was kind of like, okay, well, I've thought about the surgery for a long time. I know that I need it, like maybe I should look into it a bit more and see exactly what it would entail. I'm like, if there's any time I'm gonna have braces, it's when <laughs> I have to wear a mask and we're in the middle of a pandemic pretty much. So yeah, I started the process and was really happy with the first oral surgeon that I saw. He seemed like to have great past results with um, patients and my orthodontist was great as well. So. I got my braces on at the start of 2021 in February and I was told I would need the braces on for six months before and maybe like six to nine months after or maybe three to nine months. No, what was I told? I think I was told three to six months after and I was like, okay, a year with braces, I can do that. <laughs> as mortifying as it seemed at the time to have braces as an adult and to have braces as someone who puts themselves out there on the internet, I thought, okay, this is gonna be worth it long-term. And yeah, so I had my braces on for six or seven months before the surgery. And then I had the surgery, which was interesting. It was exactly, I guess, as I expected it would be. I spent two nights in hospital, which was planned. They kept me in ICU for one night and then I was taken out of that for the second night. <laughs> Obviously on like a lot of painkillers. And when I woke up, I was on a soft food diet for five weeks afterwards, which I thought was gonna be worse than it was. Yeah, honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was having a lot of soups. I was having this meal replacement shake from the company Health Code, which best shake for recovery. It like such good quality ingredients, low sugar, low carb, high protein, high quality protein, contains all the nutrients you need. And I think that really having my diet in check helped me to recover quickly and without hiccup. So I'll link that down below because I was so worried about what I was going to have afterwards. It was actually going to be good quality. Like I made a lot of soups with bone broth and whatnot, but these shakes were just an absolute game changer and so good. So after the surgery, um, you don't have much movement in your mouth and <laughs> also you don't have much feeling. So eating right after surgery was pretty funny. Like 
they give you a syringe to like squirt the food in your mouth because I could only open my mouth like a little bit. So I would like kind of like put it in and then squirt it. But because I couldn't feel like my chin and my face, it would drip down my face. And like, I was such a mess a few days after, but I mean, to be expected. But then I realized like eating with a spoon was a little bit easier for myself because I could kind of slurp it. So it's just about figuring out what works for you. And I think that if you're considering this surgery, going into it with a positive mindset and knowing how swollen and how ridiculous you are going to look after the surgery is so, so important because you're gonna look ridiculous. And like, I would try to smile and it would, <laughs> I have photos where I am genuinely trying to smile and I'm like, <laughs> It's so funny. And I was just having a laugh at myself. I knew it was ridiculous, but I knew it wasn't gonna last. But I can definitely see how seeing yourself like that day after day can take a toll on, I guess, your self-esteem and kind of make you question whether you made the right decision and whether you're gonna look like this forever because I did have a couple days like that. But for the most part, I was generally pretty positive. I don't even think I said to you guys what happened in my surgery. Ugh. So my lower jaw was too far forward. So they moved my lower jaw back. My upper jaw was too far back. So they moved it forward and then they also moved it up. So I used to have a really gummy smile. So now when I smile, like you cannot see any gum. And I don't think I realized how bad it was until like, now and I look back at photos and I'm like oh wow I I mean like I love how it looks now I wasn't super self-conscious about how gummy it was I was a little bit but now looking back I'm like that is a huge huge difference <laughs> and also my lower jaw was like bigger on one side than the other so <laughs> they had to straighten that during the surgery they actually like go in through the sides I know they don't do that for everyone. Um, my surgeon said that like, it was just the best way to do it. So I had stitches on either side and I still have a slight scar on one side. On the other side, it's pretty much went away, but I'm not worried about that at all. But yeah, after the surgery, it takes a while. Like I still don't have 100% feeling in my lips on this side and even my chin. It's probably about 90% back. I would say my movement is 100% back. I feel like I can <laughs> do anything with my jaw now. And swelling, I don't think it's down entirely. I don't think you can see it from the outside, but like if I talk a lot right now, I can kind of like feel it a little swollen or yeah, pretty much if I talk a lot, that's when I can like feel it getting a bit swollen, but it doesn't bother me at all. Eating is pretty much fine. I can eat anything. Some things like that are really hard or really chewy are still a little bit uncomfortable, but in general, like everything is going great. I know that some people don't have as smooth of an experience as I did, my only advice is to just take it one day at a time and focus on the small improvements that you're seeing and just know that it will be worth it in the end. If you, some people get the surgery because they have jaw pain, some people have it like I did because they have difficulty eating and just function in general. So if you are struggling with any of those things, just know that it's going to be worth it in the end probably day three and four post-surgery were the worst for my swelling and the worst for, <laughs> yeah, the worst for my swelling. I'll put a photo up here of how swollen I was on day four. After that, it slowly started to improve. It did plateau a couple of times, but yeah, it kind of came in waves. Like I would notice my swelling wasn't improving at all. And then all of a sudden, like from one day to the next, it would be gone down a lot. So just know that it might ebb and flow and don't let that frustrate you. It can take up to a year for the swelling to go down entirely. It can take up to a year to get full feeling back and full movement. So just be patient with yourself because in the grand scheme of things, a year is not a lot of time. And 
yeah, I guess <laughs> that is my experience. And I am just so happy with the results. I can bite through foods <laughs> that I never could before. And I can close my jaw comfortably because that was another thing. Like the first time I went into my oral surgeon, he's like, just relax. And I'm like, okay, sitting there like this. And he's like, no, like completely relax. And he was telling me that I was, I would trained myself to keep my lips shut, but my jaw was hanging open. And this was because I could not close my jaw and hold it closed comfortably because it was so misaligned and like lower jaw was bigger on one side than the other. And now I can actually close it comfortably. And this also made a big difference with my sleep because previously I could not sleep <laughs> with my mouth closed. I was always a mouth breather because like I said, couldn't keep it closed comfortably. So I used to use mouth tape to hold my mouth shut while I was sleeping in order to breathe through my nose because that's just better for your health. It creates nitric oxide, which is good for your brain and a whole bunch of other things. But now I don't even need that because I can just keep my jaw closed naturally, which is such a good feeling. The one other thing I will mention, boy, I should have probably planned this video because it is all over the place, um, is that I can breathe easier through my nose now. I didn't realize that I had difficulty breathing through my nose, I guess you could say. My oral surgeon had said previously that my nostrils were kind of pinched and he said like when I had the surgery, it would like open them up a bit more. And honestly, that was one of the first things I noticed when I woke up from surgery was just how much easier I could breathe through my nose, which was crazy to me because I didn't realize I had an issue with it before. So that was another unexpected side effect. And I guess that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you guys. So I just wanted to do this quick video and give you a full recap of my jaw surgery experience because I know not all of you care, but a lot of you do. And I feel like we're a community here. <laughs> and we have a bit of a community here, which I really appreciate and I've appreciated all of your support and nice comments as I've been going through this recovery and still showing myself online. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so swollen in some of the videos I posted in like December and January. <laughs> ah, it's so funny. But anyways, if you guys want more videos on my jaw surgery experience, I posted so many updates throughout my journey from start to finish, when I got my braces, when I had my surgery, after surgery, products I recommend, etc., on my vlog channel. So I will link that up above and you can check out those videos. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.